hey guys welcome to a new video on the channel and in this video today we're making the um sleeve that you saw on the thumbnail so if this looks like what you want to learn please keep on watching so first i'll take the round sleeve measurement of the top part of my arm and then i'll also add in allowance of one inch to this then i'll use that to fold this paper into two to be able to get the full round of my sleeve now after i've done that i'll go on to mark out the initial measurement of my arm and just also mark out the point for the allowance part of this then i'll go on to take the full length of the sleeve for this i'll be using 22 inches please don't forget to add one inch for um sewing allowance to the top and the bottom so that makes 23 inches then i'll go on to mark it at the bottom part there so to get perfectly straight lines i usually take the same measurement on two sides so that i'm able to um, align it with the ruler when i'm drawing to just get perfectly straight lines after marking out the bottom part or the full length of this sleeve i'll go on to put um, my tape on it and take out 5 10 and 15 inches please you can notice that i left a half inch space at the top that's because i do not want to um, confuse the inch seam allowance along with the lines that I'm marking. So I'm going to make a straight line on the five inch side. Now from that one inch line, I'm going to mark out my original round sleeve and then also leave the part for the um, allowance. So I'm just going to make a mark on that point. Now from the top of this paper, I'm going to draw a slanted straight line to touch on that line. Please note it's not gotten to the end of the paper on the other side because of that is the allowance line. So from this line that I have marked out here, I'm going to get the middle of this line and make a point there on that line. Now for the top part of this line, on the middle side also of that top side that you can see me doing, I'm going to take out half inch to the top of this line. Then I'll go on and repeat the same on the other side, just that this time I'll take it out on the bottom now i'll go on to use my curved row to curve this line to make sure that those three points meet on the curved line just as you can see me doing so guys please ensure to place your ruler as well so that you get the curve that you need and not make a mistake with it please notice what i'm doing So when you are drawing out the curve line for the bottom part, please ensure that you um, blend it into the allowance that you have there so that they meet on the same line. Please blend it into your allowance. So now we'll go on to the round of the sleeve on the 10 and 15 points that we marked out just like the 5. And then using your round sleeve measurement, you are going to measure out your um, sleeve the round of your sleeve on this paper and then you're going to make your points there please don't also forget that you have one inch allowance or that we're using one inch allowance then we'll go on to join these points from the top part to meet on every point even up to the wrist part of this sleeve as you can see me doing then after this we're going to trim out um what we have for this sleeve So guys, just like you can see now, I will now place the net on this. Now do your very best to ensure that this net is in the middle. So the reason I bought this half yard of net is just because of this video. If not, maybe I would have gotten more, especially because I only be illustrating one sleeve. So I already have this in the middle and I also have my machine on this middle line that I drew to help me to follow through with the sewing. So now I will start pleating from this point so it depends on the type of sleeve that you're trying to make some sleeves to make them first you'd have to run a little bit of gathers in the middle and then pull it together so that it forms that tiny bit of gather sleeve then you also and place it on this paper again and then using that same middle line just like this you run the middle of that on this sleeve and then go on to follow through with the other processes that we'll be doing on this sleeve making but for this one the sleeve that i'm making will be pleating the sides of the sleeve just like this go 
on to repeat this split and then it's also dependent on you you could decide to make it a one inch interval meaning that as you pleat you could use one inch to separate the pleats as you go just so that it will be even but for the purpose of this video i will not be doing that but just so that you can have yours looking neater and way better you can choose to have that also So guys, as you can see now, this is what we have for the sleeve after we have run both sides and everything. Please ensure that yours is also straight. And the way I even made this one, it looks like as if I use the same intervals, but even if I didn't. So you could, like I mentioned earlier, you could choose to have yours with intervals. Now we'll go on to trim off the excess net on the bottom of this. And then don't also forget that we had our allowance inside this part. So now we will just simply trim off the excesses on the sides. So guys, after trimming now, this is what we have. So we'll go on to fold this just like we have it. We are going to take out our actual sleeve. We are going to um, sew it out for the allowance before we go on to peel off this paper from this dress, from this sleeve rather. So guys, now just like I mentioned before, we are going to fold this and take out the actual sleeve measurement. But because I know that I already did this using one inch allowance, I'm just going to take out one inch on all sides of this um, sleeve just like you see me do. see what it looks like after we have stitched both sides and some of these are even meeting just like this ones in the beginning we have from here it looks to have shifted anyway we'll go on to peel off the paper that we have on this so we can finish this so, just like this, we have this now we'll go on to peel off this please be careful when you are peeling this off so that it doesn't damage the parts that you have sewn together So guys, as you can see, this is the sleeve now. So some people might choose to leave theirs like this and maybe just go on to bend the end of this part here and then that's enough for them. But if we're making the type of sleeve that is on the thumbnail, the one that has the extras at the bottom of this. So we'll be going on to, um, so we'll be going on to cut 
um, the bottom part for this. So for the purpose of this, because I only bought a half yard of sleeve, I divided it into four inches for each side. Now I'm going to go on to join it to the sides here, join it by these sides so that I have enough material to work with so I can draw gathers on this because I'm going to be drawing gathers on this to be able to add it to the bottom part of this. So please just keep watching. So guys, now I have joined it here and I've also run my gathers but I only did one line of gathers. Usually when I'm dealing with um, fabrics, I run two lines of gathers because two is actually stronger to pull. But because this is net and for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be using just this one stretch of um, line that I drew. Now I'm just going to pull it into gathers, just as you can see me doing. Then when I get to the middle part, I am going to um, go to the other side and also pull from that end. get your desired result so now this is what it is going to be looking like when we join it together so i'm just going to um stitch it together on this end this open part here just as you can see this is also this open part as you can see and then we're going to put it on the um fab on this sleeve we've already made one more thing also please ensure that you measure this out because that's very important to ensure that it is the same same in width with the bottom of this sleeve so now go on to measure this part just like this and what we have is three and three half and quarter which is almost four and so when you double that you'll be having 7.5 so just as you can see from what i have here this remaining half here on the side is just to join the two parts together so it so this end here just as you can see so i'm going to open it and put it around this end here please if your net is straight up ensure that this joining line and this line are meeting on the same point just so that the um, rest of the net around your arm is going to look very neat so now we'll just go on to stitch this together so guys after attaching now this is what we have please also ensure that when you are pulling your gathers ensure that it is evenly distributed along this just as you can see so you don't have some places looking fuller than some places so this is what we have for this sleeve also for this you can use as much um as much of the net that you want to use you can make this maybe two layers three layers four layers it depends on what you're trying to create so for this for the purpose of this video this is what we have created so guys this is the sleeve let me put it on my arm just so that you can see what it looks like you can see how beautiful it is